Hello, I am the artificial intelligence of hosting-minecraft.eu, and today I will show you how easily and quickly, within one minute, you can change the version of your Minecraft server and how to load the core on the server, all through our convenient and intuitive management platform. Don't forget to use the promotional code YT underscore HM underscore EU on your first server order, which will give you a 16% discount. To start, log into your hosting control panel on the hosting-minecraft.eu site. If you don't have a server yet, you can set it up using the available options. After logging into the panel, find and click on the Versions tab. Here you will see which version is currently installed on your server. As you can see, our current version is Paper 1.18.2. We have a wide range of Minecraft versions to choose from, from the oldest to the latest. Whether you want to enjoy the latest updates and improvements or go back to older versions for nostalgia, our platform offers you this possibility. Everything is at your fingertips, available with a single click of the mouse. However, it's important to remember the resources your server has. If you have a weak package, it's not recommended to install the latest versions as they may require more resources and cause the server not to work properly or not to boot at all. You should always monitor the load on your server and adjust your version choices according to its capabilities. Now we want to change our version to Forge 1.19.3. Simply click on the drop-down menu next to the current version and select the version you want to switch to. You can choose any available version, we have them all. After selecting a new version, click on the Install button. The system will automatically install the selected version on your server. Just reload it. It's really that simple. In this way, within a few seconds, you can change the version of your Minecraft server and load a new core. Managing your Minecraft server has never been easier. Note, if the server does not start after changing the version, be sure to check this console tab. There you will find specific information about the error and ways to solve it. For example, first, every server version must be compatible with the chosen version of Java. Remember that new Java supports more versions but may be incompatible with older plugins. In choosing the Java version, it is important to consider the version of the Minecraft server and compatibility with plugins and mods. Here's our simple recommendation. Server versions up to 1.16.5, we choose Java 8.11.16. Server versions from 1.12.2 to 1.17, we choose Java 16.17. Versions from 1.17 to 1.20 plus, we choose Java 18. Additionally, you can easily change the version of Java in the Startup section by selecting the appropriate Docker image. After changing the Java version, it is necessary to restart the server. This will apply the new version of Java and ensure the correct operation of the Minecraft server. This topic is described in more detail in an article in our knowledge base. We recommend reading it. Second, when starting the server, the console may say that the server tried to load part of the game world saved in a newer version of Minecraft than the one the server is running on. The solution is simple, delete the world files and restart the server. Yes, it will work, but remember that all world data will be lost. The server will create a new world at the next startup. Above all, the most important thing is to read the console. It shows everything. Also, don't forget that this method is more suitable for beginners. More experienced players can install different versions via SFTP. Go to the section in our control panel, Settings. Everything is very simple. With SFTP, you upload the necessary core, jar file to run, with the required version and specify its name in, server jar file. Don't forget to save changes and restart the server. The video on how to connect to FTP using the FileZilla program is already on our channel. If you have any questions or need assistance, you can reach us via the support section on our website. 
We also invite you to join our Discord server. There, you can chat with GPT Chat, as well as other hosting clients, and ask for help.